Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Friday, April 21st, 2017. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. National heroes, by their very designation, they do not belong exclusively to family. They do not belong exclusively to party. They belong to the country. And it is their values, their service that we offer up to the rest of the country to say that these are values that can help us in the part of nation building. To all those who labor then with Dr. Daniel, I say thank you for your contribution. Prime Minister Harris was at Thursday's unveiling of a bust of national hero and first premier of Nevis, the right excellent Dr. Sir Simeon Daniel. The bust is situated in what is described as the heart of Charlestown, which is in front of the Tourism Authority building. The ceremony and erection of the feature has been welcomed and endorsed by the family of Dr. Daniel, especially his wife, Lady Sheila Daniel. I do hope that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, more especially Nevis, will show their appreciation by honoring the motto that Sir Simeon emulated, country above self. When you look at it, remember the man Simeon Daniel the love that he shared with you and his significant contribution to the island of Nevis. The bust was made possible by Mr. Michael Heinrichsi, who commissioned the sculpture with the blessing of the Daniel family and absorbed all costs associated with its installation of the bust in Charlestown. As we wish to thank for all these beautiful things which were given to us here, the Honorable Mark Bradley, Brantley came up with the idea to produce a bust, a bust of the excellent Dr. Sir Simeon Daniel, our national hero and first premier of Nevis. He is not only a national hero, but also responsible for bringing four seasons to Nevis, which brought us here to the island. But much more important was that he got a lot of high quality employment to the people to Nevis. Last but not least, he laid the foundation for the island as it is, whilst his successors continued this great story till today. The ceremony was seen as a politically bipartisan effort, especially on Nevis, as remarks were delivered in tribute to Dr. Daniel from members of the Nevis Island administration, as well as leader of the opposition. A poem was also delivered by the mighty Suki, who hails from Banscott, the same village that Dr. Daniel is from. The unveiling was done by Lady Sheila Daniel and Mr. Michael Heinrichsi to the applause of many on hand. The bust was then serenaded by the masquerades. The evening activity ended with many divisions taking photographs with and around the feature. A delegation from the International Monetary Fund IMF earlier today met with Premier of Nevis and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Vance Amory, as well as Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Dore, along with other employees at the Ministry of Finance's conference room. Mission Chief for St. Kitts and Nevis, Inki Otker, outlined the objective of the IMF. To see how the economy had been doing. Um, this is a regular annual uh, consultation. So we, we are looking at the macroeconomic situation, how the financial system is doing, and um, um, as well as some of the social issues. Uh, and this year, particularly, we are focusing on uh, not only um, how the macroeconomic uh, and financial situation is. Uh, has been in terms of stability and, and so on. But we are also looking a bit into 
more social issues. In other words, we are focusing on how uh, unemployment rate is in the country, how the inequality and poverty indicators are doing. Uh, we are also looking into health care system. Um, and we have heard some discussions of universal health care coverage uh, plans, so we are looking into the fiscal implications of, of this. The Minister of Finance says that his government has been doing their best to manage the island's debt. I think we are able to indicate to the IMF team the steps which we are taking to manage our finances, to control the debt, uh, and to the, the steps we are taking to to manage the concessions to the, you know, to to for for businesses, and I think that's an important aspect of of, of, of which we have to engage in in serious control, and we have certainly sought in the last year to manage the 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 concessions which are granted. We as as, as government, uh, we are very conscious of the of where we've come from in the last four years. And we certainly are, are pleased, and I, I hope the IMF is pleased with us for the way in which we have managed the debt, the way we have dealt with our creditors, the, the CDB, the Kuwaiti Fund, and, and National Bank uh, primarily, to ensure that we remain in, in balance and that we are pursuing the, the right policies. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Amory. The Mondo track will be completed very shortly. This is according to Minister of Sports in the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, the Honorable Mark Brantley, who was last night's guest on NIA's radio program, Government at Work. The exports from Mondo are on island. Mm. The engineers, because as part of the certification process, the last layer of asphalt and the lane of the track itself has to be done by them. So they have come in to supervise that final phase. The track has been sh it was shipped and they're now here. I'm told that they arrived on the 18th. And so we are going to see that facility completed very shortly. Minister Brantley stated that the Mondo track is ideal for Nevis. The Mondo track is going to be an IAAF certified track. The certification I'm told that it will have is going to ensure that we can host international meets there. In fact, the advice that we had, the presentation was made to cabinet is that when this track is done, we can host any international meet there except Olympics or World Games. Senior Minister of Sports in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Still to come, Ministry of Tourism to host second annual schools calendar competition. The details when we return. Till the morning like. Drinking, masquerading Live music always playing If you like Islands of blue seas Where people always smiling If you like Street jams and bandstands Where people will be jamming Don't you miss this time, no Our yeah, festival, our legacy Don't you miss this time, no The Caribbean's greatest summer life Don't you miss this time, no Festival of Legacy Don't you miss this time, no The Caribbean's greatest summer lion As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. 
The Organization of American States OAS through the Department of Human Development, Education and Employment DHDEE and the Syracuse University College of Law through the OAS Partnerships Program for Education and Training PAEC are offering scholarships to qualified candidates of St. Kitts and Nevis to participate in the Masters of Law program. The program will be on site in Syracuse, New York, United States and the duration is one year. The admission deadline for fall 2017 is May 15, 2017, and for the scholarship May 31, 2017. For spring 2018, the admission deadline is October 15, 2017, and the scholarship deadline is October 31, 2017. The benefits include 50% reduction of tuition fee as offered by Syracuse University and a one-time tuition allowance of U.S. $3,500 offered by the OAS to the top-ranked scholarship recipients, a one-time allowance of U.S. $1,350 to help defray costs of travel to the top-ranked scholarship recipients offered by the OAS. For more information on the admission process, please visit www www.law.syr.edu and www.oas.org slash scholarships. Ministry of Tourism's second annual schools calendar competition will be launched on April 24, 2017 as part of Exposition Nevis, a month of activities designed to bring awareness about the tourism product on Nevis. Communications officer in the Ministry of Tourism, Sheila James, gave details about the competition. The Ministry is inviting all 15 schools on Nevis to participate in the second annual calendar competition 2018. Last year's competition was a rousing success to schools carrying the winning pictures selected for the 2017 calendar. We are expecting more entries this year. The theme for 2018 is products of tourism in Nevis. Criteria will be issued to each school in the days to come. This competition opens to schools and not sole individuals. We are encouraging classroom effort. Closing date is Friday, September 8th, 2017. In the first year of the competition, five schools participated. The top winner was the Sicily Brown Integrated School, who won seven out of 12 pages. The Montessori Academy came second and won five out of 12 pages. The runner-up schools were the Charleston Primary, Nevis International Secondary, and the Violet O. Jeffers Nichols Primary. For further information, contact the Ministry of Tourism and at 469-5521, extension 2147. And that's it for tonight's edition of the Neighbors Newscast. Thank you for viewing. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Good night. Uwali, the queen of the Caribbees. Bathed by its crystal shores is the Caribbean's best kept secret. Nevis is known for its rich culture, which remains entrenched in the island's everyday life. We boast of having the Caribbean's greatest summer festival, Culturama. The birthplace of Alexander Hamilton, my little 36 square mile island, is the home of the Bath Hotel, which is the first built hotel in the Caribbean. Don't forget to take a dip in the therapeutic Bath Springs. Take a few minutes to trot down to the ever-famous Sunshine's Bar and drink a world-renowned killer bee. Live Nevis naturally by exploring the magnificent waterfalls and hiking to the top of our 32-32 Nevis Peak. Our lush vegetation and landscape deems a visit here the perfect escape. Nevis, Queen of the Caribbees.